Hi, how are you doing today? We got blue skies here in London. We had some snow this morning. We were sitting outside just in a shirt yesterday. Well, not just a shirt. We're wearing other clothes as well. Anyway, in this video, we are going to look at the um, a new Max for Live device that I've made that you may be interested in if you want to do more random stuff. And of course you do. Everyone wants to do more random stuff. No, I don't think everyone does. But as so you're watching this video, I think you do. Right, let's get on with it. I have just taken the wavetable synthesizer that comes with Ableton. I have just added one note here in session view. Not super exciting, but we've got this little device here that we are gonna utilize that you can map to devices or parameters to turn them on and off and you can set the probability how likely they are to be on rather than off. So we're going to take this one note now uh, and show you, give you some inspiration on what you can do. So you let's take, um, okay, let's just to make sure that things are in some sort of key, let's do minor pentatonic because everything sounds good in minor pentatonic. And then we can take, let's take the chord. Let's do a minor, minor, minor tin. Let's do minor tin. And then we can add a, an arpeggiator after that, can't we? Foster arpeggiator, let's do a 16th note. Set one of them to random. Both that. that one can be a thumb, maybe. And now this is where this comes in. Now we can sometimes have we map that to the chord, we map the next one to the first arpeggiator and the second arpeggiator. At the moment, it's a 50-50 chance that these devices will be either on and off. Every time this, this the, the TFP random on off receives a MIDI note is when it gets triggered. artifacts that are really nice. Get the 
these never ending melodies. Let's just group that together. Oh gosh, I'm doing a double grouping. And then we can do something nice. We add the operator as well. Very loud. Turn both of those down. Let's just listen to the operator for a while. Also just a sine wave at the moment, but if we turn these off, up. Now we get the different operators and we can actually turn them on and off as well, just to add a bit of... Then it's going to change the nature of the sound quite a lot. one into more of a pad sound we make that bit longer so we only got one channel in Ableton and it's track going quite glitchy nice and ambient um, so I hope you enjoy that little video uh, if you want to grab this um, Max for live device um, look in my description because there's a link to my patreon and if you sign up you will be able to get this one and my previous device and lots of samples and loads of other stuff I would love you to support me and I would also love to hear what you do with this device. I think it's going to be super helpful just to create more, more probability, well, randomness into music. I feel like I'm saying that in every video. But anyway, thank you for watching. And um, please spread the word if you think anyone else might be interested in this sort of stuff. And don't hesitate to ask if you've got questions. Thank you. Bye.